pursuing a PhD was something I had always wanted to do. I made the choice to do a PhD because I naturally enjoyed learning. I had the opportunity to come and visit Ulster University when I was doing my interview and the facilities are phenomenal. I felt like there was a lot more to learn and so the PhD was just a logical next step for me. That itch just had to be scratched. The curiosity and the desire to want to know and find out stuff. As a part-time researcher, I'm self-funded. There was the opportunity to apply for a scholarship, and that pays for the bench fees, so you don't need to pay your fees for um, attending university, as well as giving you a stipend to live on. In addition to the uh, stewardship offered uh, by the DFE and the TGI, I was also able to supplement my income to performing uh, teaching. My funding for um, PhD study is a scholarship and the funding body is the Arts, Humanities and Research Co Council under Northern Bridge Consortium. My PhD was funded by the Vice Chancellor's Research Scholarship and this scholarship was made available for international students to come to Ulster University to study for a PhD. Being a PhD researcher, I need to be fully accountable to my own day. Basically, you need to be committed to your project. If we're not doing experiments, we could be conducting literature reviews, writing reports and writing papers, or indeed planning for upcoming conferences. What you're doing is you're making a really unique and original contribution that presents new knowledge to the world of academia. Unlike undergrad and uh, master's level, there's no scheduled classes or timetable made up for you. In terms of support systems then, whenever I began my PhD, there really was a wealth of resources at my dispense. Ulster University also has an International Student Experience Department, one we now call Global Experience Department. There was so much support there, even outside my supervisory team. I found the Doctoral College really useful as well because um, they have a lot of workshops on things like how to manage your time and how to write and how to structure your thesis and that sort of thing. So You've got one of the best features of Ulster which is the Doctoral College um, which really is an amazing resource. Honestly I couldn't have asked for any more in terms of personal support and in terms of just putting things into perspective for me and helping me break things down so that I would still meet my targets and not be under too much pressure. I would say that one of the highlights of my PhD was the researcher development programme that the Doctoral College put on and I think even speaking to friends of mine who have done PhDs at different locations that's something that really sets Ulster apart. We had something like 250 courses on offer um, from the Doctoral College and the breadth of courses immense. So I felt it was very customizable to the things I did need to know. As a PhD researcher with Ulster University, I've been exposed to a number of very, very beautiful opportunities. During my PhD, I had the opportunity to do a significant amount of teaching. In the first year of my PhD, I got to go to New York. So my PhD was focused on vitamin D and I got to go to a conference in New York that was specifically targeted um, about vitamin D. The Doctoral College at Ulster University also provides you with training in your First Steps to Teaching Award, which is accredited by the Higher Education Authority and is now a prerequisite for lecturing and teaching across the United Kingdom. I applied for a scholarship from the Doctoral College um, and I won that and I was able to go and study in, well, to, to work and collaborate in Strasbourg in France. So some of the other things that were available through the Ulster University were the PhD Festival and that was I, th I thought, personally, for me, a really good experience because it let not just myself but other PhD researchers practice presenting their research. So I found myself sitting in my living room talking to three BBC um, programme directors pitching a programme for a film documentary about my research. When I consider the benefits of the PhD, I think um, it's all down to the opportunities 
and how I try to embrace these opportunities. I think it makes you very organised because you're working independently and you have to plan your own work and it sort of teaches you how to organise yourself. Your critical analysis and critical thinking skills are taken to another level of PhD. If I was going to encourage anyone to do a PhD, I think the thing I would say first and foremost is make sure you're doing it for yourself. I honestly think I made friends for life um, during my PhD and that was a huge, huge part of it as well for me was just that, that side of it, the social support. 